Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Michael Parag Jambudkar. In this video, we will see dynamic memory allocation in C++ language using new and delete operator. So we use two terminologies. One is static memory allocation and another is dynamic memory allocation. Static memory allocation that means at compile time, decision is taken that how much memory should be allocated to any variable. While dynamic memory allocation means at runtime, decision is taken how much memory is allocated to any variable. If we write something like this integer x or float x or character y or something like that, then at compile time, that much memory, for example, in this case, 4 bytes of memory is allocated for variable x. So this decision is taken at compile time and this is a static memory allocation. We can also allocate memory to any array like this. So that much memory. So uh, memory for 10 integers we are allocating. But sometimes we don't require that. But still at compile time we are allocating that much memory. And this memory is extra memory is get wasted. So it is better if you allocate this memory at runtime as per our requirement. And for that we have dynamic memory allocation and dynamic memory allocation is achieved in C++ language by using new and delete operator. While in C language we have calloc function malloc function. The calloc function and malloc function are used to allocate memory at runtime. In the same way in C++ language we have new operator and delete operator. Sometimes we say it is a new keyword or delete keyword. New keyword is for the memory allocation while to free memory we have delete operator. So for new just like new in C language we have calac malloc function and just like delete we have free function in C language. Now we will see examples. We will go example by example so it will be clear. Now look at this. Here we are declaring one pointer, we are defining one pointer and to that pointer we are allocating one address and whose address we are allocating that memory will get allocated at runtime. Now see in this case we are defining one pointer that is static memory allocation. At compile time we are telling that P will be pointer but P is a pointer so it will have address of some another integer and whose memory will be saved or whose address will be saved in p that decision is taken at runtime so at runtime memory will get allocated and that address is get saved in p so in this case this is a dynamic memory allocation using new operator and p that pointer that we are defining this is a compile time or static memory allocation now see here we have allocated the memory dynamically and in that we have said value 10 and we are printing the value of p and here we are freeing that memory. So if we run this program, so program got compiled and we are getting such kind of result. Now see, again there is one difference between static memory allocation and dynamic memory allocation. Whenever we are allocating the memory at compile time, so uh, all variables they have some scope. For example, any function or block. As soon as block is over, memory allocated to that variable is get terminated in static memory allocation. But that is not the case in dynamic memory allocation. Explicitly, we have to derogate the memory, one thing, or when program is over. At that time, that memory is deallocated. Here, user, see as we are allocating the memory dynamically, we have to deallocate this memory. Or when program will get terminated, at that time, that memory will get deallocated. We will see another example. So, in, in previous example, here, first we have defined the pointer and at the same time, we are allocating memory dynamically. Now in this case, 
we have separated out two statements we have written here we are defining the pointer and in second line we are allocating memory dynamically so if we run this program still same output we will get program got compiled and same result we are getting if we want we can put something like this so here we are allocating null to this pointer and then we are allocating memory dynamically and after that we are putting some value so again if we run this same result will get got compiled and now it is getting run Now we we'll see next example. So see in previous example, first we have defined that pointer, dynamically allocate the memory, and then we are putting the value. Here, all things they are done at the same time. So look at this. Here pointer is defined. At runtime we are allocating the memory, and at the same time we are allocating this value to that dynamic memory. So here we are putting that value ten. So dynamically, when we allocate the memory, so in that memory we are saving ten, and that address will get saved in P. We will run this, and same result we got. But in this case, we have written some different statements here. everything is get achieved in the single statement only and keep in mind to allocate the memory to allocate the value we are using this round bracket and here we are putting some value in next example we are allocating block of memory and for that we are using this square bracket don't get confused here to allocate a value we are using this round bracket this is the round bracket while to allocate block of memory just like array to allocate block of memory we are using this square bracket and we are doing it dynamically normally we define array so that is the static memory allocation but here we are allocating the block of memory dynamically by using this new keyword so here dynamically we are allocating the memory for three integers like this and then we are printing the value now see as we are allocating block of memory so to free it we have to write syntax like this see in previous example there was only one variable so we have written like this delete p but here we are allocating block of memory so this syntax we are using and to free this memory we are writing this syntax delete p and again we have to write square brackets and we are freeing the memory here uh, you can write like this so here you can put the space if you remove this space so all are same we will run this program like this now see we will see next example so in this case we have fixed so three number was fixed so we are allocating dynamically we are allocating the memory for three integers now see uh, in, in this up uh, instead of integer we can take float also we can take character any data type we can take pointer that will be the integer but what value that will be saved that value so address of with that particular value that value here in this case it will be integer we can make it float also we can make it character also now see here we have fixed that three block of memory but for how many integers three but what we want that number should be given at run time only for how many uh, value we want to allocate the memory that decision should be taken at run time only that is the advantage of dynamic memory allocation so see in this case here we are taking number from the user that for how many elements we want to allocate the memory user will enter that and here see here we are putting in previous case 
we have fixed that number but now this number also we are taking from the user and at run time dynamically that number will be taken from the user and that much memory that much block of memory will be allocated here we are allocating some values and here we are printing those values on the screen and again in this just like in previous example we are freeing that memory by using this delete keyword a delete operator and we have to mention this square brackets if you run this got compiled now we'll run this so enter the number of elements for which you want to allocate the memory suppose i want to allocate memory for four elements so see four elements memory is allocated then we are putting some values so basically i am putting square numbers and then i am deallocating the memory so in this way dynamically memory is allocated in c++ language by using this new operator and memory is freed by using this delete operator so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected. Thank you.